got the fuel tank out, I drained all the fuel out. I'm trying this YouTube trick that I looked up to get rid of all the petrol fumes before we weld it. So what I've done is I've got this car exhaust running into the tank because it's hot and also like an inert gas. It will get kind of stir around in there, hopefully remove any fumes. I've got the fuel cap off so it is venting out of there as well. Do it five, ten minutes, half a lap with water, and then we'll put a blowtorch in there and just try to spark any last fumes that are in there so it's safe to weld. I'm gonna take it to my friend who got a TIG welder and he's gonna weld it up for us. About to go take the fuel tank in to get welded. There's a drag event coming up. I'm gonna take the rear wheels in to get some old semis put on that I've got. Hopefully we'll be ready for drags. That's uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. So there we got it. A pair of rears, grids. They've actually got pretty good tires on them. They're um, Goodyear Eagle F ones. They're pretty good street tires, but got these old semis for like a hundred bucks for four of them. Because in the drags we have traction issues and versus launching and stuff. Having something with a bit more stick to them will uh, help us out and get some better times. It'll be pretty sick to see some low 12s. I based on these tires. This is a 12.5. I reckon we, we still got some more improvement to do. Uh, we've got launch control now, semis. Can we crack an 11? We'll see. That's what we're up to today. we we'll get that tank welded. making sure that that where the crack ends like yeah because um, it's kind of like a split a eh, and it heads up and just like see like you know it's cracked here right but either side of the crack is just like so thin bro like yeah so that's why i just want to melt it away first to get to yeah. like a more solid area oh, and yeah. then i can swallow the top of it, it kind of almost looks like there's like a line heading yeah yeah hey up that way might be a scratch though you better tell with this It's a pretty random spot, like it's on the sea, mate, or like on the bend. Yeah. Just gonna try a try a patch over it. Yeah. Should be good as gold now. Ready for the drags. Fuel tank's here. Got that all fixed. Just stopped in at Link Up. Got some anti gravel paint. Paint that up when we get home. Off to pick up the wheels for the semis. We got the semis on. Look pretty good actually. Hopefully, this will help us grip up at the drags, man. Just gonna leave a fuel tank out on the back of the ute for a bit. Get the water out and help it evaporate out. Fuel tank has been drying overnight. Now it's time to paint the welded area or just the area that has bare metal on it. So there's the weld there. It's just got a small plate on it. So this is the top of the tank and it's got a lot of rust, the fuel pump hole here. So we're going to be wire brushing it back and then treating it with rust converter before we put it back in just to make sure that that doesn't spread. So I've just wire brushed it back now and it's looking a bit better. Wow that's cool. This is an anti-gravel spray so it's like supposed to be like kind of rubbery. So we're all done now, painted it up. I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry and then yeah, we can put it back in. So the tank is all dry now. The rust is looking good on top. The paint on the bottom looks good as well. So now we're gonna begin putting the fuel tank back into the 180. First we have to put the fuel pump back in.
So I've got it up to this point. It's almost all the way up and um, it's pretty much lined up as well. The fuel pump is there. And then we've got the filler neck coming through here as well. I think I'm just gonna wait for Matt to get home. These obviously need to go on properly. I've got the got this hose going on and it's that's all secure and that's on properly. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait for Matt to get home from work just so that he can look over it and make sure that I've done everything right. Just got home from work. Taylor's pretty much got the tank in. She's already done that vent line. That was a pain. It's gonna hook up those fuel pump hoses and then bolt the straps up, bolt the filler neck up, chuck some fuel in it and we'll see if it leaks. Put the seal back in and under here we've got up there there's another bolt holding the filler neck and then I've already put that first strap on. Gotta do the other strap, put some fuel in it and we'll just make sure it doesn't leak. I put that other strap on, now I'm gonna put some fuel in it and then we'll just leave it sitting overnight. Look under here, do nothing's leaking. There's the diff. The leak was up in here. Do my finger. Yeah, nah. Passing it. Nah, just kidding. Feels good. It's the next day now. We're just gonna check for leaks. It looks all dry under there. Put the wheels back on. Got our new semis. New old semis. <laughs> I'll be taking for a test drive because last time I thought I'd fixed it with JB well and then I took it for a drive and then that's when we had the leakage. It was, it was actually dry before we drove it. Good to go. No. Don't forget to put your wheel nuts on. Low car problems. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't clear the fuel tank. I just got to prime the fuel, run the fuel pump. Alright, so I'm in the 180. I'm about to take it for a drive now just to test the fuel. I've also got the 360 camera mounted at the back, so it'll be cool to get some footage of that as well. I've also got the semis on as well, so it'll be good to uh, get a feel for what they feel like with, um, when I'm driving. I'm just hoping that that 360 camera doesn't fall off because I've never really driven with it on before. You can tell that the, um, the tires are a bit sticky because it's still flicking up stones from our driveway. So. Thank you. 
the skid beforehand and I didn't do a skid to warm the tyres up. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking maybe it'll be better at the drag and also the surface will be a bit more grippy as well. fuel issue now so that's good our fix worked yeah the 180s all good to go back on the road back on the drags remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for another video